I'm Jerry Askin in this morning for Kendall Downing. Andrew Kozak is live in our First Alert Weather Center. He's tracking our forecast. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Jerry. Four men now face charges after police say they shot up a teen party, killing a 15-year-old boy. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office confirmed two kids are being charged with two counts of aggravated arson for setting a fire that burned down two homes. This morning, investigators want to find three people after two fires at a car repair shop. Here's video surveillance. And I'll be in Miami in two weeks. Let's go. Yeah. Very nice. Well, it's, it's like you're like right there now. Uh, this weather. Yeah. <laughs> right. This morning, neighbors in several Memphis communities are searching for porch thieves seen riding around in a Range Rover. We just got this new video showing one suspect in action. The governor signed the bill, which allows for so-called sentencing enhancements based on a suspect's immigration status. This is a very sad story. Investigators have pieced together what caused a church bus crash in Atlanta Thursday, killing a teenager on that bus. Investigators believe the bus driver was trying to change lanes. We are sending a high five this morning to an MPD officer who's changing kids' lives using just two wheels. Officer Tommy Jones has been working with 20 kids through the Ride Outside the Box program. New and next on WMC Action News 5 weekend, there is a national day for everything, and today is for a cold drink favorite. See how you can pick up some cold tea for free today. Plus, a legal drug is being taken off shelves due to illegal use of the drug. We'll show you what the FDA is doing just ahead.